In this video, I want to sketch each of these on an Argan diagram. Okay, so each of these will describe a circle. Um, so let's crack on. So let's start off with number one then. So this is a circle centered at the origin, because you've just got the mod Z there, and the radius is nine. Okay, so don't forget to label your real and imaginary axis. Okay, there's my circle centered at the origin, okay, with radius nine. Okay, and so there's my circle. Right. Oh, whoops. <laughs> okay. Right, the second one. Uh, Z take away 2 is equal to 2. So this one isn't centred at the origin. Um, you can see that actually because you've got this Z take away 2, that means that it's going to be centred at 2, 0. Okay, so it's actually centred at 2 on the real axis. So real, imaginary. So it's centred here at 2 on the real axis. It's got a radius of 2. So that means that the circle... does something like this. Okay, so it's going through the origin. This point, if I drew it well enough, would be 4. Okay, this point would be at minus 2. That point would be at 2. Okay, and that's what my circle would look like. I would say, you know, if you're, if you're ever unsure with your uh, circle drawing skills, then take, you know, take a pair of compasses into the exam. Why not? Number three. So this one is not centred at the origin. Um, because you've got the minus i there, it's going to be centred at one on the imaginary axis. OK? So just think about um, where uh, i is on the imaginary axis, on, on, on the Argand diagram. If you were just going to sketch z equals i as a point, where would that be? And so it would be there, at 1 on the imaginary axis. It's got a radius of 1, so it goes through the origin. And so it looks something like this. That would be 2. That would be minus 1. That would be 1. OK? And that would be your circle. So once you get the hang of this, it's really not too bad. Uh, right, number four, uh, z plus three is equal to two. So real, imaginary, so the circle is centered at minus three on the real axis. So there's your minus three, and it's got a radius of two. So this one isn't gonna go through the origin. Oh, a bit dumpy there. Mm. don't think my circle looks particularly good. Oh well, right, as long as it's circular shape. Right, that's one, uh, sorry, minus one, and that's going to be minus five, and that's lowest point minus two, and that's two. Okay, and so that's what my circle would look like. Right, okay, so number five. Uh, Z take away 1 plus I in a bracket, so all of that is being taken away. So that means it's centred at 1 plus I on the Argand diagram. It's got a radius of 1. So real imaginary. So 1 plus I, so something like this. So there's, is it centre? OK, uh, it's got a radius of 1, so it's actually going to be going through both those points. Something like that. I mean, once again, my circle's not perfect. Right, so that means that must be 2, and that must be 2. So it's a circle that is tangent to both the real and imaginary axis there. Or has a tangent has the imaginary and real axis as tangents, I should say. 
Right, number six. So z plus 2 plus 2i uh, is equal to 2 root 2. OK. So this one is going to be centred at negative 2 take away 2i. OK, so minus 2 take away 2i. Because you've got that plus there. So we're going to be down here somewhere. So that's minus 2, minus 2. So that's going to be our centre. And it's got a radius of 2 root 2. Now, um, the length of that vector there is going to be square root of 2 squared plus 2 squared, which is the square root of 8, which is 2 root 2. So that means that it's going through the centre. So, um, not the easiest thing to draw. Something like that. OK, going through the origin there. Um, so that point there uh, would be minus 4, because minus 2 is there in the centre, and that would be minus 4 there. OK, so it would look something like that. Um, if you wanted to identify the maximum point there, uh, then that would be, what's that, uh, uh, so minus 2 plus 2 root 2, if you wanted to, okay, but um, I'm pretty sure that wouldn't be necessary. It'd be enough to have sketched it going through the origin, and if you put in the uh, um, minus 4 and the minus 4 there, then you'd be fine. You don't want to need you don't need to go overboard on your sketch. Right, let's have a look at this last one. So real and imaginary. Okay, so uh, modulus of z take away three take away five i is equal to three. So it's centered at three take away five i. So three take away five i. So somewhere down here. So that's going to be 3, that's minus 5. It's got a radius of 3, and so it's going to go through and have uh, the imaginary axis as a tangent. So it's going to look... That was very poor. I don't think I really made that a lot better, but kind of egg-shaped. Right, so if it's got a radius of uh, 3 then, then that would have to be minus 2. And that lowest point is going to have to be minus 8. And that point's going to have to be 6. OK? And so that is the last one there. So you can see that actually once you get the hang of it, it's not really too bad. You just need to be able to identify the centre of the circle and its radius, and then you should be good to go on the sketch.